So for this problem, we're given an integrated, an iterated integral, and they want us to find its value. So now we're working in cylindrical coordinates. So instead of x, y, and z, we've got z, r, and theta. Now we're given a function of r, z, and theta, and then we're given these bounds. So z is between 0 and 4, r is between 0 and z, and theta is between 0 and pi over 2. So the only thing that really matters in the order that we integrate is that we want r to happen first, since it has a function of z in it. And then, let's go ahead and do z next. And then theta. And then let me go and write my function in. I've got z r cosine theta. Now, dv is a little bit different in cylindrical coordinates. It's not just dr dz d theta. We've got an r in there too. So I'm going to make this an r squared, takes care of that, and let's go ahead and put our order in. dr, dz, d theta. So we're integrating with respect to r first. I've got an r squared in there, so that means I'm going to get one third r to the third. And I want to evaluate that from r equals 0 to r equals z. And then dz, d theta. So plug in a z everywhere I see an r. So I've got one third z to the fourth cosine theta. And then for r equals zero, that becomes zero. So I don't have anything to subtract. Now I'm ready to integrate with respect to z. I'm looking at a z to the fourth here. And the integral of that's going to be one fifth z to the fifth. And I want to evaluate that from z equals 0 to z equals 4. And let's take that up here to evaluate it. So for z equals 4, 4 to the fifth is 1024. And then for z equals 0, that becomes 0. So I have one more integral to do. And it is with respect to theta. So integral of cosine theta is going to be sine theta. 10, 24 over 15 just hangs out. Now I'm evaluating from theta equals 0 to theta equals pi over 2. So let me go ahead and plug my theta in. So now I need to find sine of pi over 2 inside of of theta and sine of zero. Luckily for me, I have my unit circle drawn. So remember, sine is the y coordinate. So for sine of zero, I'm going to get zero. And for sine of pi over two, I'm going to get one. So that makes this really easy. 10, 24 over 15 times one minus zero, just like times one. So 1024 over 15 is our final answer.
and the value of this integral.